Remember when Elon Musk bought Twitter and fired half the staff, complaining that the company was too complicated and they needed a complete rewrite? I think, frankly, if, we're, if you want to have a really high velocity of features, I think the, 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 we'll just need to do a, a total rewrite of the, the whole thing. I just mean like literally, like there's, there's the, like you could either try to uh, amend the, the, the crazy stack that exists or uh, re rewrite it. What's so crazy about it? What's so abnormal about this stack versus every other large scale system on the planet, buddy? Come on. Sprawling, convoluted code bases are a huge problem with any large product, let alone the giant software companies. So while Twitter was probably too complicated, so are products at Google, Meta, and everywhere else. Why do software companies struggle to scale without getting bogged down in bloated and convoluted code? As Twitter grew in popularity, the platform faced a massive influx of data generated by its users. This led to a growing problem of complexity as the platform became increasingly challenging to manage. With interdependencies between different components of the system, they found it difficult to maintain high level of quality, performance, and reliability. The first lesson we can learn from Twitter is the importance of breaking down different components of the system into smaller, more manageable pieces. A modular architecture can help ensure that each component is developed, tested, and deployed separately without impacting parts of the other system. These are microservices, the most common way software is built today. In the data world, this is along the lines of the data mesh strategy. The positives of microservices is each bit of code is developed, deployed, and maintained isolated from the rest of the product. This can simplify how much understanding each team needs to know about their little segment of the overall product rather than having everyone try to understand the entire monolithic platform. The problem is you don't have anyone who knows the big picture. Gone are the days of having an architect or team of architects who know the entire thing inside and out. There's a lot more need for communication and coordination between each of the microservice teams. The result of this is usually more PMs, more support roles, more meetings, more duplication of work, more the left hand not knowing what the right hand is doing situations. In other words, the things that are considered bureaucratic bloat. So monoliths are untenable because the cost to develop, test, and maintain, and microservices cause bloat. So what do we do? The common solution is organizational, not technical. To create an effective team structure and communication strategy to ensure that everyone is working towards the same goals. Effective communication can help avoid silos and foster collaboration between different teams. This is the approach Meta, Amazon, Microsoft, and the like have taken, to accept the complexity and try to build systems around it. But it's not just CEOs who need to deal with this. I built a data analytics platform from scratch. I knew how it all worked. I knew the sources, the pipelines, the storage, the data model, the different reports that it was supporting. But as it gained traction and got more interest, there were a lot more enhancement requests. I couldn't handle it all myself. So more people got involved, building pipelines for new sources, adding data to the model, and creating reports. For me, it was kind of a mixed bag. Obviously, it was nice to not have to do everything myself, but it was also a challenge not knowing how everything worked anymore. I spent a bit less time developing and more time coordinating. For the product, the data platform, it greatly improved because we had more smart people involved building it, coming up with great ideas and finding all the mistakes I had made. But it also became less consistent, a little harder to maintain, and took a lot more discussion to build. So hopefully you can see how even at a small scale, growing the product introduced similar scaling problems that software companies face. And the more we grew our platform, the more bloat we'd have to introduce. At some point, we'd need to come up with a strategy accepting that fact. Maybe even expanding a product team around it, including more PM roles. The story of Twitter isn't unique, it's industry standard. It just happened to be publicly debated and put on display. There are two big takeaways. One is accepting that you currently can't avoid complexity with growth, so plan to manage around that. But there should be discussion and trials to come up with new methodologies so future software doesn't have to be so painful and can be more lean. And of course, the data world tends to be lagging even further behind the software world in these methodologies. So to learn more about how Data Mesh uses microservice concepts for analytics platforms, be sure to watch this video next.